Using your computer, you can play Jackaxe Combat Racing's online multiplayer on a PlayStation 2 emulator. And today, I am going to show you how to set up. Hello Jack fans, this is Dexter Master and I'm back with another Jackax guide. You might have seen that I have done a tutorial on how to play Jackax multiplayer on your PlayStation 2. But maybe you do not own your PS2 anymore or it doesn't work. Whatever the reason, there is still a way how to connect and play with Jackax players using your computer. There is still a way to enter the game's LAN mode using a program called Xlinkai, which I call Schlink. In this video, I will be showing you the PCSX2 method. The settings and requirements used for the emulator are slightly different than the PS2s, so if you want to try this on your PS2, I recommend stopping this video and go watch the PlayStation 2 guide. The link will be in the description. As I said in my previous video, the PS4 version does not let us access its multiplayer unfortunately, not even with this method. So, so far these are the only methods we can use. You will require these things in order to connect. A strong PC obviously to run the game without any lag, the PCSX2 emulator, an Ethernet network cable, TEP adapter setup, CLR Dev9 plugin, WinPC app and Xlink I software installed. The softwares and plugins I mentioned, I link them all in the description. You will also need a USA BIOS file and a JackX ISO file, which unfortunately I cannot provide you with. You will have to find them yourself. I recommend having both NTSC and PAL regions of the game. The reason is because in order for you to play with other people, you will need to have the same region as them. Most of the Discord players use the NTSC version, but if you want to play with PAL users, you will need that also. So to avoid the hassle, get both. To start off, we will install the tap adapter and win PC app. The links to download these are in the description. Open your network adapter configuration page. Go to Change Adapter Options and rename the TAP Network Adapter to something. For mine, I renamed it to Schlink. So next, we're going to use the PC to download Schlinkai, which we will find by going to teamschlink.co.uk. Go into the Downloads page and select your download. New players need to create a Schlinkai account in order to use it. While it's downloading, all you have to do is just sign up your account Put in your details and press submit. The bandwidth section is for your player network profile and I suggest putting it as unknown. Do not forget to install Schlink. Once this done you will need to click start Schlink I on your PC and you are welcome with a login screen. Simply enter your details. You might have to verify and give consent on the website in order for you to log in. Now install PCSX2. I put up the link for the latest version for you. I recommend finding a video to match the best settings for the best performance on your computer. After you have the emulator set up, download the CLR Dev9 plugin. Extract the archive and copy the DLL into the plugins folder of PCSX2. Now run PCSX2 with administrator mode. Open the emulator's plugins menu and for Dev9, select the CLR Dev9 plugin. Next we're going to start JackX. Once it's in the menu, enter exhibition and press the LAN option. Here a message should pop up telling you that you need to configure your PS2 network, where you press X to go into the configuration taking you to this menu over here. Press add setting, memory card slot 1, continue, continue, not required, auto, auto, then just test your connection.
Here you will see your console's MAC address. Take note of the last two parts, four characters, of the MAC address. On the computer, we will be using the IP calculator to calculate and find the PS2 IP address. The link is in the description. Click PlayStation 2 and enter the four characters you just seen from the MAC address and press calculate. Now you can see your PS2 IP address. On PCSX2, go back to the plugins menu where we selected the Dev9 plugin and click configure. Make sure that enable Ethernet is checked and then go to its options. For connection method, select tap. For adapter, select the tap windows adapter we have installed earlier. Check the intercept DHCP box and enter the PS2 IP address we just calculated from the IP calculator. The subnet mask should be 255.255.0.0. To get the gateway IP, enter command prompt on your computer and write ipconfig and press enter. You should be able to see written default gateway. Simply copy those numbers you see next to it on the gateway IP tab. The DNS1 IP should be 8.8.8.8 and the DNS2 IP should be 8.8.4.4. After that, go into game arenas and join the JackX Combat Racing lobby area. Select your regional version of the game NTSC or PAL and let the step open during online play session. Back on JackX, exit the configuration and the game will reboot. Go back to the LAN option and select the setting you created. Then just create an online account, which will also be your player name on the game. Now in my opinion, this is the hardest part, which might need a little bit of trial and error. If you enter metrics, make sure that it's reachable and your console is found. I could not get it to be reachable for some time, so here's what I did and hopefully it works for you also. These were my settings. One time the port was zero and it worked. However, if it doesn't work that way, you might have to look into port forwarding port 30,000 UDP. I would suggest playing around with the settings a bit till you manage to connect. If you do manage to get it to say reachable yes, take a screenshot of the settings so if something happens you'll set it back up the same way. If you continue having problems, I suggest asking for help in the discord channel I provided. If you got through all those steps successfully, then you're done. Now all you need to do is plan an event on the JackX multiplayer discord channel and you can host or join a game. A very big thank you goes to the people from the Discord channel. We're trying to get as many people as possible and we would like to keep the Jackass community strong. I hope you enjoyed this guide and I hope to see you online very very soon. If this video helped you, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video for more gaming content. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.